Greetings, greetings, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Dolens. I'll be presenting to you and uh, helping you on how to deal with a uh, markup on selling brush. Up there is the topic markup or the definition of markup. Markup is the percentage difference between a product's cost price and its selling price. Example on markup on selling price. Uh, let's see. This example says print and copy is a trader of computer accessories. Printer cartridges are purchased from a supplier at 700 per cartridge. Print and copy uses 30% markup on SP price, which is selling price, right? Selling price there should be selling price should be selling price. Okay, so now, now, um, now, uh, best thing that we should do is to determine the cost price and the markup percentage so that we can be able to calculate the selling price. So, as we check on our transaction here you are given a cost price of purchasing a cartridge right so in order for us to calculate the selling price here we need to determine the cost price the cost price is given there is 700 rent and then the markup in percentage is provided the 30 percent right 30 percent okay so now we need to calculate what the selling price so the first thing we must do is to understand the principle. Remember, every time you do something in accounting, you ask yourself, what is the principle? So number one, you must have the principle. So the principle on markup on selling price says whenever the selling price, whenever the markup is on selling price, the selling price is equals to 100%. The principle on markup on selling price says whenever the markup is determined on selling price the selling price is equal to 100 percent and remember the first thing you must do is to outline or determine the percentage so we're going to indicate cost price there so equal to we're also going to indicate the markup And we also going to indicate selling price. Selling price. OK, now remember, we start with what the principle with the percentage of the principle, the percentage of the principle, which is says whenever markup is on selling price, the selling price is close to 100 percent. Right. And then the markup is given there is 30 percent. So now remember, you have to buy at cost price, at markup, and sell. So now we have to calculate backward to determine the selling the, the cost price. So the cost price is going to be because it's going to be hundred percent minus thirty, which is going to be seventy percent. It's going to seventy percent is equal to seventy percent. So you see now, this is how things work. This is how we do things. You determine the percentages first. And remember, always all the time, cost price plus markup is cost your selling price. Even if we start here, it means we just have to do a reversal of the calculation to get the cost price of 70, which is cost to be uh, which is going to be 100 percent minus 30 is equals to 70. So now here they give you what? 700. So it means your 700 is equals to your 70 in percentage, which is the cost price which is the cost price and remember we have if we have our own method or our formula in order for us to calculate the missing rent figure which is the selling price remember the formula says the rent value we have multiply by 
the percentage of the value you want, you divide by the percentage of the rent value you have. The percentage of the rent value you have. You see now. So now we are going to calculate the selling price there, right? We are going to calculate the selling price. So the selling price is equal to 100%. And we want it in rent. We want it in rent value. So now let's go and calculate that. When we calculate, we're going to say, what is the rent value you have? What is the rent value you have? The rent value you have there is 700 cost price, right? You multiply by, you multiply by, what is the rent value you want? The rent value that you want is equals to 100% in percentage. So you put 100 there. And then you divide by the rent value. You divide by, I mean, you divide by the percentage of the rent value you have. What is the rent value you have is 700. What is the percentage of 700 is 70. Then you divide by 70. I hope you got that. And then it's equals to there. Let's see. Let's see with the calculator there that the rent value I have 70. I mean, the rent value I have 700. Rent value we have there 700, all right? And then you multiply by 100, which is the percentage for the rent value you, are, you want that is missing. You divide by the percentage of the value you have. The value you have, remember, is 700. So it means your the percentage of the rent value you have is going to be 70. So you will get 1,000. 1,000. So 1,000 rent is the rent value of the of the selling price. Rent value of the selling price there. Rent value of the selling of the selling price. You see now, that's very easy. Mark up on selling price. The first thing you determine what the percentages. After determining the percentages, you check what is it that you have in rent and in percentages, and then you can be able to apply this formula, right? And then that is all for markup on selling price thank you for watching please do not forget to subscribe like and share salute